Well, thank you for joining us on this uh, video. I'm going to present a little bit uh, sort of general introduction to Abacus software in its uh, student version. And then uh, we are going to solve a Spring Mass System model uh, just to get acquainted uh, with the basic capabilities of Abacus. So then I had opened already Abacus here and uh, you can see the, the major menu on the top and then here the various model, uh, models that uh, I've been developing. So we are going to create a new model later and this is icons related to the various moduli here. Visualization, you have parts, then change the menu here you have property and so on. So then uh, basically we are going to follow this menu starting from part, and then we are going to apply this menu for the, the problem for the model we want to develop. Uh, so as I said, we want to, to have a spring, a mass, and connected to, the, to one end of the spring there is the mass, and to the other end it's fixed. And then this is a basic problem that when we started learning vibration. So then I'm going to show you how to create it. And uh, so first of all, I will create a model, okay? A new model. Let's call it a mass spring, okay? Uh, so we are not going to comment in all the constants and ticks that you can put in these boxes for now because we wanted to go straight to the point. And then we can open this tree here, mass spring, and then we are going to connect these various menus here with the icons here on this side. So first thing that we need to do, we wanted to do, you need to do is to create a part. The part that we are, we are going to create is the mass, okay? is a 2D planner rigid and it's a point, okay? So a point mass. And the size where we are going to, to map and to create this mass is say around 200 millimeters. So then uh, all the units I, I put is SI units. So then 200 millimeters is 200E minus three meters. So continue, then uh, I enter the coordinates coordinates of this of the mass point, which are for my case 0, 0, 0, so I accepted with an enter. And then here the mass is created. And then I'm going to give values to this mass. In this case, say, let's say we put one kilo of the mass. So I open this menu here, mass, and then in engineering features, Inertias, I double click. I, I call this inertia of mass. And then I carry on, continue. I select this point where, which I created before, done. And then the menu asks for the value of the mass, which is one, as I said before, SI units, so at one kilo. I could put rotary inertia if I wanted and also dumping, uh, but we are not going to do that now. So the mass is created. Uh, now, uh, this part here we've been using already uh, by creating the mass. And then now I go in assembly because the mass the property we gave already, the one kilo value in the menu part, and the property is related to material behavior, which is, in this case, is not, uh, uh, it, it doesn't come into the, the model. So we go to assembly, and then assembly is also here on the menu, or I can close uh, parts, and then in assembly I can open, so then, I go in instance, so then I have the mass now in red here, okay? And then uh, I, from here, I 
I created the, the I go in engineering features. It's, no, first let's create a, another point here. I go in tools, in reference point. Okay, I'm going to create a reference point, say a mass which is 100 millimeters long. So X, I, I'm going to put zero. And uh, for Y, I'm going to put 100 E minus three for the reference point. So then I can now fit all the drawings in an auto fit view here. Okay, so then I have the mass here, the, the ref, one other reference point here. And in between, I'm going to put this spring here on this menu okay this is within assembly so i open the spring dash pot menu connect two points okay i can put here spring for instance continue so i select the first point for spring okay here and select the second point here and then i'm done and then comes the the stiffness of the spring. I'm going to put this stiffness 39.44 Newton per meter. Okay, so it's a low stiffness. Okay, could be any value now, of course. Uh, and then we did proper part assembly step. Let's go for a step. We go on this little menu here step let's create a step which does a model analysis so we wanted to infer the natural frequency of this spring mass system so then we go here on linear perturbation okay frequency and then continue and then we have the basics here and say we can put a description for our step uh, and we wanted to put uh, the number of uh, eigenvalues requested. So let's put uh, three eigenvalues. Um, just in case the first can be a rigid body in one direction X, another rigid body in uh, one direction Y, and the third one, the actual um, eigenvalue that we are looking for. Then OK. And I dismiss here. There is no geometrical linearity on this uh, problem for us. No interaction. Load. Load is the case where I have two options. Here I put actual load forces. And here I put boundary conditions. Uh, on this case, is a free motion. There is no uh, force acting on it on the mass so then there is only boundary condition which is to fix this re rp1 here okay so then i come here i create the boundary conditions it's going to be in mechanical on step one continue so then select region the region is going to be this one okay uh, done and then i choose in okay and then uh, I dismiss it. it's been created already. So it's in Castre here. Okay. Uh, the steps we did already. Né? So load, mesh, we don't need for this problem. So we can go straight to the job now. Uh, well, let's save this model first. Okay. I'm saving uh, under the dot K C A E. 1GL, the name, and within 1GL, I have this mass spring model. I have these other models here, all within CAE. But we are going to run this case we just created now. We go in job. With the job, we let's, let's delete this one. Okay, and let's create a new job. Let's call it spring mass uh, the model we are going to use is spring mass but let's put spring mass one uh, the model is mass spring continue 
this here is okay you can describe what you want there and then we can submit the job then by submitting is going to come here some information okay and the job was completed successfully so i go now in results and then i can play uh, the first value of frequencies in a minus 14 so it's meaningless uh, the second one is also meaningless and then the third one is around one hertz nearly one hertz that's why i put there for the stiffness 39.4 because if i divided that stiffness by one kilo which is the mass and take the square root and divide it by two pi to go to hertz from radians to hertz then i get a round number which is one and then i can animate this uh, by clicking here okay so then i have some options here of going fast or slow or looping uh, half cycle swing that goes up and down and then you can exper experience uh, or experiment with different uh, options here uh, also for, to make the mass that large i go in view and in other bay odb display options okay then i can change the size of this uh, green square here which represents the mass and that's it so then we could uh, put in abacus a model in abacus which is a finite element uh, software we could model a rigid uh, mass uh, connected to a spring on a ceiling for instance and then we could get the first natural frequency or the only uh, natural fix frequency for this one degree of freedom uh, mode. So thank you very much for watching us.